What's up guys, it's Vive Chief here and today I've got some insane investments that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 23. But before we jump into that, I'm going to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 5% off at checkout. Now let's get right into this video. All right, boys, so diving into today's video, we have a bunch of different investments to go over between Team of the Year Honorable Mentions, Fodder, Team of the Week cards, everything like that. So make sure to stick around for all of those. And let's go ahead and dive into this. And we're going to be starting off by looking at Team of the Year Honorable Mention cards. Now, to put it plain and simple, last year, Team of the Year Honorable Mention cards were some of the easiest ways to, to make coins. These cards went nuts out of packs and even while they were still in packs. You can make crazy, crazy coins on these. So we want to be looking at some of these cards that are pretty meta, linkable, and a lot of people want in their teams. So we're going to be starting off by looking at this Mike Manyan card. So this card, for starters, is obviously very, very usable, really solid keeper in-game. He's tall, has good face stats, everything like that. And the number one thing is a lot of people are going to be using this guy in, his, in their teams because he's super, super linkable. He's French, he's Syria, he's Milan. So there's a lot of things out right now that he links with. We've got the Pogba SBC. We've got Team of the Year Theo Hernandez a lot of people are using. we got the winner wildcard Tamori, which is one of the most used center backs in the game. So there's tons and tons of cards that this guy links to, making him a very desirable card. And He's a card that I would compare very much to last year's Team of the Year Honorable Mention, Edward Mendy. So I want to kind of show you guys some of the Team of the Year Honorable Mentions from last year and the trends we saw with them. So for starters, we have Edward Mendy here from last year, and we kind of want to look at that first month uh, that he was in the game, maybe even three months. So uh, for some reason, they're showing it when, before he was even in the game. So. If we go here, he came in the game, obviously, during Team of the Year right here. He was about 44,000 coins, and you can see he takes a slight drop while he's in packs, and as soon as he go out of, goes out of packs, this guy goes from 36,000 coins, and he just does not stop rising. In just a month, he's about 60,000 coins. He ends up peaking at around 70k, doubling his price. So I really like this Mike Magnon card. I think he's even more linkable than that Mendy card. I think, I think he's better than that Mendy card. He's French. I just I like this card a lot. I think it's kind of a no brainer to go for, the, for this Magnon card. And just to show you like a couple more cards that I think are going to be very very similar to some of those honorable mentions from last year. For example, somebody like a Cancelo this year is a guy that I really like out of packs. So if we look at Team of the Year honorable mention Cancelo at the moment, he is currently selling for about 400,000 coins, it looks like. Yeah, 400K. We, I picked mine up last night. I've got two of them for pretty much about 375,000 coins. If I take a look, bought for 370k that one, so already up 30,000 coins on this Cancelo. And I would compare him, again, to some of these meta defenders like a Kyle Walker, like an Antonio Rudiger. And if we take a look at Walker from last year, in packs, he's about 100,000 coins, instantly shoots up to 125k, takes a little bit of a drop, again, shoots up to about 140,000 coins. Now, another thing that we'd like to look at when we're looking at these kind of cards is we want to look at the substitutes for this card. So for example, for this Jao Cancelo, we'd want to look at left backs and right backs in the Premier League because this is, he can pay both left back and right back, which again, gives him even more value because of that utility he provides. So we compare him to the likes of uh, Centurion's Trent here and probably this winter wildcards, uh, Andrew Robertson are probably the two best options that are kind of in that price range. You can see He's 75k, 80k, 90k more than this Trent Alexander Arnold, and he's about 40k more than this winner wildcard Andrew Robbins Robertson. Now, I would argue he has better links because there's more city players in the game. There's a couple city team of the years, and he's Portuguese. Or Trent being English is also pretty good. And just the fact that he's the highest rated in team of the year honorable mention, I think gives him a bigger boost over these two cards as well. And he's still in packs. So by the time he goes out of packs, 
and we wait a week, I think it's a no-brainer that this card goes up in price. So for Cancelo, could be like a little late to the party, and if you don't want to be late on those kind of things, make sure you join the Discord and the Twitch streams. We basically mentioned Cancelo in the Twitch stream when he was 360,000 coins. I put him in the Discord as well. I could take a look here at the Discord and see what price I post him at, posted him at. In the Discord, 372,000 coins, as you can see here is what i put him and then my yan is even up a bit as well up like four thousand coins from when we posted him so i think those are both really really good options because of their links their usability and just the amount of people that are going to be using them in their teams so now to hit on some kind of other team of your honorable mentions that i think definitely have potential but i'm not as confident in them so hold up 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed hit the subscribe button please and while you're here you might as well follow on twitch for daily live streams and join the discord for more trading tips investments all that good stuff looking at the team that your honorable mention team cards i'm staying away from vinicius just too expensive valverde a bit too expensive for me at 900k i don't want to play around with that kane i don't love that card i don't think i don't know how many people are really going to use it Saka, there's just so many premier league wingers that i want to stay away from him and then Koulibaly, he tempts me to play around with this card. Let's go ahead and look at Premier League center backs. Let's see what kind of Premier League center backs we have this year. So Fever 23 players, Premier League position, center backs. And you always want to look at these substitutes. So, wow, this Koulibaly card is actually a great option. A great middle tier option between these Van Dyke cards and pretty much like this Carvalho card. He's really the only middle ground. We have this Laporte, but this Koulibaly looks to be definitely better than him. I think this Koulibaly actually has a lot of potential here. I think he's a lot of potential. I think he could potentially be a good investment. Reminds me of this Rudiger card a lot. Let's take a look at what Rudiger did. Rudiger did extremely well, went to 700k. So I think that Koulibaly could honestly be a play. I'm tempted to pick up one of him. Just to kind of just to kind of have the card. Next one, this Pedri card tempts me, but I just if his shooting and defending were above 80, I would definitely buy one. But I think that turns people off. And then my last one here is gonna be Fekir. Fekir, like he's such like a mid-tier card, but for 50k for an honorable mention, he is quite good. And there's not really any cards that like remind me a ton of him. Like maybe Insigne, and Insigne just kept going down until basically a couple weeks until he was out of packs Foden here and Bruno Fernandes are a little bit higher level than that Fekir card and they didn't even rise all that much I'm probably staying away from Fekir I like the look of that Koulibaly card I think he's definitely a good option and then Bremer here is the last uh honorable mention I want to look at so we want to first go and look at Siri Os and center backs here and see what the options are so in terms of Syria center backs, like he is a really, really good option for that price. And people are going to be using Tamori. They're going to be using Theo Hernandez. You know what? I like this Bremer card. I like the look of him a lot. His last card I know did quite well. Uh, he had some really nice rises whenever we got Juve cards. People are doing that Pogba SBC. I like this Bremer as well. I'm actually going to go pick up a couple of those Bremers. Uh, probably after content today on stream, I'll, I'll go pick up some of those Bremers because I think those are a good option as well. And then the last thing I want to hit on in this video is some of these SBCs refreshing. So if we go and take a look at the 85 times 3 defender, midfielder, and attacker. Now, these are all SBCs that are set to refresh here. So the 85 times 3 defender refreshes in two days here. So we can, everybody can do this SBC again, the midfielder in a day and two hours. So I think 85s are a really, really good option right now. If I go footbin, cheapest buy rating. Now, when you're picking up 85s, there's a specific way to go about this. Now, you can see a lot of these 85s are like 14, 15K at the moment. But a lot of these 85s, their price range caps out at 14,000 coins. So we want to try to find 85s to have a higher price range. So for example, these team of the week cards have a higher price range. So they're a really, really good option to pick up as 85s. 
because they can rise more before they go extinct. So Pedro Poro, Abraham, Lejeune, these 85s are really, really good options. And let's see, even like a, like Bowden's price range is still 16K. We want guys to have a really nice high price range here. So it's mainly going to be those special cards we're looking at here. So 85s there. And then if we just went version, can we just pick like all specials here? Yeah, all specials, 85. And then you could just go and select cards that are like, 16k or less here just go like minimum price a thousand and basically just pick 85s that are the cheapest here and honestly this is probably your best bet because these 85s are going to rise everybody's going to be doing these sbcs because they're going to have fodder and they're going to want to finish these off so i think those are a really good option here as well but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video